Okay, FireTech users and others interested in synchronizing a show with timecode, we're going to take this show that we put together here. And we're going to create a timecode track that can be used to control the show by an audio player. So keep watching. In a previous video, we created this script to this soundtrack dubstep for a theoretical big game show. To control this show by time code, we're going to take the audio file used for the scripting of this show and we're going to create a time code track out of it. Okay, the first way we're going to walk through creating a time code track is with Audacity. Now what we'll do here is take our song here, and this is song one, dubstep, and we're going to drop that into Audacity. Now there may be other ways of doing it, but this way works. And what I'll do first here is I'll select the whole track by double clicking, and then I'm going to go to track, mix, mix stereo down to mono. What this did is take the audio track and combine it down into one mono track. For a simple audio device that only has stereo or a right and a left output, what we're going to do is take the music and put it all on one channel. In this case we'll do the left channel. So I'm going to pan this track here all the way to the left. And now we're going to add a second track that's going to be the time code track that we're going to add to the right channel. If you don't have a time code file, you can get one on the internet. And there's a couple of different places, but this LTC website here is a free site that will generate an LTC SIMT time code in a WAV file that can be used in Audacity. Now for the FireTech system, we're going to set this to 25 frames per second. The sample rate is 44.1 kilohertz, and you'll see that matches with what we have in Audacity here. We'll leave this 8-bit the same. Don't change that. The start time we'll set to 0, and then you can set your duration. And for now, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set this duration to 20 minutes. Actually, we'll do 25 minutes. And it's generated our time code file here. And it's telling us that it starts at zero, it's 25 minutes, and it's 25 frames per second. So we can now download this. And once this is downloaded, we can drag it into Audacity. So you can see that this is much longer than what we needed, but that's simple. We can trim that down. So we'll zoom into our actual file here. And you can see that we had a couple second lead up into our song, and the time code starts at zero. And we're going to pan this all the way over to the right side. So now we have the song on the left and the time code on the right. We can click here and we can cut this. And then we can just delete everything that we don't need. Now when we export this out of Audacity, we will have the music on the left channel and we'll have the time code on the right channel. So we'll go File, Export. We're going to export this as an MP3. Now what I like to do here is provide a suffix on the file name to let me know that this has time code on the right channel. And hit Save.
And we can see that now here in our folder. To show you what this file looks like, if we drag this back into Audacity, we can see a single track right, that has the song all playing on the left side, and it has the time code on the right side, all in a single track. There are other applications out there to add time code to a file. And what I have is this LTC Audio Mixer. It's a very simple application. And it simply asks me, do I want to merge the stereo to mono and add Simti on the left channel, or do I want to do that to the right channel? For consistency, I try to keep the time code on the right channel. This also allows you to add a lead up if you want, but we're not going to do that. We already have that in our song. And then we're going to open our WAV file. And in this application, it needs to be a WAV file. And I'm going to pick the same Song 1 dubstep. Now this is not the MP3 file that we just created with the time code. This is the original Song 1 dubstep. And I'm going to open that. Now it created a new WAV file, and it put it in the same folder here as the audio mixer, so I'm going to go ahead and move that into this folder that I have here. And I like to modify the file name again to just indicate that this is on the right channel. Now, to see what this looks like, if we open up Audacity and drop this into Audacity, we'll see the same setup here. We've got the music file on the left channel and we've got the time code on the right channel. Now what we're going to do is take this WAV file or MP3 file and put it on a simple audio player and connect that up to the FireTech modules and showing how we can control this script and music with a simple audio file. Okay, what we have here is we've got three modules set up that correlate with the script that we had. And if you recall from the other video, this uh, hypothetical big game, we created a timecode file for this dubstep song which was for script one, and that had 36 events, had module one, two, and four, all three of them on rail one. So what we have here is this is module one, module two, module four. We've got rails for each one of those plugged in. We've got events across all the queues on rail one. Then I brought out this older FTH48E module that uses an external battery and I set this as module 5 as a master module. So right now this has a network set up and these three are slaves. And that's currently in test. And then what I have done with the timecode audio file I have loaded it into this very simple MP3 player and I have it connected here with a splitter, the red splitter here, end of the splitter being connected to the master module here to trigger the time code. And this is the red one. The white is going to the speaker that I have set up. Now, depending on your sound setup, you'd likely be using different cables. Now I'm going to put this system in ARM here with the long hold of the green button. The system is in ARM. And I'm going to turn down the lights here so you can see the rails. So I've got the MP3 player here and I'm going to play the audio file. It's got a couple second lead up. The time code file, I could pause it. It shows pause on all the modules. The script is stopped here at 15 seconds. 
And I can continue it here. There you go. I hope you like that demonstration of how you can create a timecode file and use that to control your script and audio in perfect synchronization with the FireTech system. If you enjoy these videos, please check out the other videos on my channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.